Welcome to the Skoda Media Meeting 2018. We're talking about connectivity in cars today and what that means for the customers. Everybody is talking about connectivity and cars at the moment. And next to me is Peter Lawrenson. He is responsible for, for um, all the things regarding to connectivity at Skoda Germany. Uh, Peter. What is new and fresh with Skoda and connectivity? Yeah, last year we started to implement in every hour of our vehicle the connectivity services for free. So it's standard option in our cars. With this, we have three basic uh, offers for the customers. One is we have the uh, emergency call functionality and the uh, roadside assistant call functionality in the car. We do have what I always call you get your car or the, the data of your car into your pocket with your uh, mobile phone where we get the status, the vehicle status, the, the fueling and all these things on, on my car. And the third part we call them the, the colorful or colored services this is what we call infotainment online. Here we do have live, uh, live driving data or live um, um, traffic data, which we get on our navigation system. And we also have the opportunity or possibility to send data, like locations where we want to go, onto our uh, navigation system. Uh, so that's a very colorful and pretty world now we have in our car. But what about the cost for the customers? Well, the equipment in the car is for free. It's a standard equipment in all available Skoda vehicles in Germany. The uh, in emergency uh, bit is also for free and it's a lifetime with the car. For the uh, Care Connect and the Infotainment Online, we need licenses. They are for free for a year included in the car or with the business package, the infotainment is even three years included. So actually the only thing the customer needs to buy uh, or provide is the data plan for using the infotainment online services. And that's quite almost nothing. Um, so that's the future. We have loads of services in the car now, but what about, what about tomorrow? What about 5G? Well, with 5G, we get all new possibilities sending cars in the data in real time is, is more real. Um, and in, in a year ago about, we started and launched the uh, lab in Prague, the Skoda Digital, Digital Lab. And I can assure you, they develop quite a lot of things that are very interesting for our future cars. So fantastic future with Skoda. Something that every Skoda will offer and have to offer regarding to the law is that part here. We have something which, it, which is an automatic emergency call, which means whenever you have any kind of emergency with your car, for instance, a crash, the car will instantly call the emergency services. There will be one guy who will try to call you back to talk to you and to, to get to know what has happened. On the other hand, there will be a second person who will call um, the, the SOS, let's say, who will call, for instance, a transport or a doctor or whatever uh, but on top you can also have uh, use this system to just say I have a breakdown so this will be a breakdown help at that point um, you will have a so-called uh, info call which means it's not a concierge service where you can say I want to have whatever cards for the opera but what you can do is you can have any support you need regarding to your car for instance how to put more at blue into my car um, how to get to open the bonnet or whatever um, on top of this, we do have a planning help here, which means the car will know when it needs to be serviced. And the system here will give you a call up front to let you plan with your um, garage when your car should be at the service. And of course, you can get to know how about your car, the, how wealthy is your car at the moment, what are the most important standards of the car. And on top of this, of course, there's a completely infrastructure to provide you with the service you need. All of this is on board of every Skoda at the moment, uh, except the Citigo. Other premium car manufacturers are also offering similar online services. Some of them also including additional functions, such as a concierge service that can reserve tickets for the Opera or book a hotel up on request. This is the so-called Skoda Connect app. That means this is my car, let's say, in a pocket. Um, what you can do here is you can see what car you're having and you can say, okay, I want to know something about my car. What's the status of my car? Which now shows me the car is locked. 
I can um, see data regarding to my, my past drives. Um, I can have a standard status of the car, which means this is what I have left in my tank. I have the oil information, have the inspection, what, what means when must the car must go to the next service, and I can see how, much, how, uh, how the mileage of the car is. On top of this, I can see where about is my car, and I can also say the car should give me a note, like blink blink or horn, uh, to make it more easy to find the car. Um, on top of this, we have a route planner in here, which is very nice because you can sit at home, at your table very comfortably and can plan your next trip. And the system will automatically send this information to your car so that provides you in the car with the next destination. You can just say choose and instantly start when you enter the car. On top of this, we do have uh, messages, which means uh, the system here provides you the opportunity to let you know whenever your car is faster than, yet, than you say it should drive. Uh, it can tell you whenever your car is leaving or entering an area that you defined before. And this is very practical if, if, you, if you give your car away. If, I think all parents will know this. Whenever you provide your kids with a car and they are they're beginners, it's very nice to know, okay, I allowed you not to drive too fast. So this system will let you know when your kid is speeding. And it will also tell you, for instance, my kid is leaving the area of my hometown, uh, which I didn't allowed. Um, so I think very practical for parents. Um, on top of this, we do have the actual status of our car, which tells me everything about the different parts of my car and let me know if something is not the way it should be. And of course, you can do a setup the way you want to have this system work for you. In addition to the standard Skoda Connect app, you can now use Alexa to talk to your app or talk to your car, which means you can hear just say, Alexa, ask Skoda about when is the next service or Alexa, ask Skoda, how about my mileage? And that will provide you with the information. The idea here is first, this is a beta, so they're just testing it, but they will implement it into the cars. And very important is, this is only because people have changed, uh, people changed how to work with their devices. In the past, we typed everything, then we used the swipe and the, the type like the iPhone. And nowadays, people just talk to their devices. And this is why they want to implement Alexa into the service of the Skoda Connect app. Another service is called Infotainment Online, and that means you're connected to the web, which gives you really precise and very up-to-date data. For instance, you can have the actual news in your car ready for you, perfectly provided. Um, you can have, for instance, the next petrol station. And the good thing here is it not only will have a look regarding where the next petrol station is located, it will also tell you about the pricing at that petrol station. So that makes it a lot more easy for you to choose the one you want. On top of this, you can have, for instance, parking information. Very important here is the same with the petrol station. You will not only get to know where the parking area is, it will also tell you when the service is provided by the parking system. It will also tell you how many space is there, so how many uh, places left. On top of this, you can have actual weather data, data, which is very nice when you have a longer drive. You can not only know how about the weather at my destination, you can also know how about the weather uh, on your way, which makes life a lot easier and more safe. Um, you do have very interesting regarding to the routes, the opportunity to get really um, data, which is absolutely accurate and on time, which makes it a lot more easy to to um, not drive into a traffic jam, to avoid them, and to get to your destination very comfortably. So I think overall this system with this accurate and very up-to-date data makes my life in a car a lot more easy and safe. So now we're gonna try how this beautiful new world in our Skoda works if you use voice control. Online Sonderziele UNESCO Weltkulturerbe. Die Online Suchergebnisse werden angezeigt. Navigiere nach Hotel Kempinski Grafenbruch. Mein Ziel Schloss heute Kiebitzweg 6. Nein. As you see, in principle it works perfectly, but from here and there you have some problems to really find the right words or be understood the way you want.
So we were not really happy about the voice control of the system, but they told us we have to have the right command to really use the better voice control system, which is online Sonderziele, which is a German word that means online special interest, uh, points of special interest. So we try this now, maybe that works better. Online Sonderziele, Kempinski Hotel, Frankfurt. Möchten Sie die Zielführung starten? Ja. So as we now saw, that really works. The only thing is, it was my error, not a fault of the system. So if I say that special word, it works absolutely perfect. The service and comfort features offered as standard at Skoda are only available as extras from many other manufacturers. For example, the so-called extended function MBUX with live traffic information costs around 1,300 euros for the new Mercedes A-Class. For the Ford Focus base version, there is something called 4Pass Connect, but the price 300 euros. And the Opel OnStar service, including a concierge service, will cost you about 490 euros for the base version of the Opel Adam. That was our report from the Skoda Media Meeting 2018 regarding to connectivity in cars. A very important information is that by law here in Germany, all new cars have to supply a so-called emergency call system and that is the base for all the other systems we saw today but Skoda is doing a step more because they offer for the whole fleet except the Citigo this system and all the other systems like their online services for free and I think this is a good idea because now the customers get to know and get used to all these services without paying a single penny at the moment.